Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to today's work, where we are going to be looking at different tenses. Now, this is a little warm-up, okay, because, of course, you are doing a little um, mini-progress test for your English today, okay? So answer the questions on your sheets, but this is going to go through the different tenses, okay, as a final sort of spike reminder uh, before our assessments. Now then... I have got a really handy help sheet for all the different tenses, which I will post into your English group this morning. It's really, really handy, okay? And it's very similar to what I have on my display in the top of our classroom. Okay, so let's have a look at the different tenses. Now, can you identify the different parts of this sentence? The small boy was running to school because he was late. Can you identify the different parts of this sentence? What makes up this sentence? Maybe you could find some adjectives. Maybe you could find an adverb. Look at all those different parts there. I've got a determiner at the start. I've got adjectives, nouns, verbs, a preposition, and conjunction, as well as a pronoun. Okay, So all of these different parts are making up sentences, and there's many, many more parts we can add. We know that. Okay. So all of these different parts here, okay, make up this sentence. But which one, which one of these parts tell us about the tense, okay, of when it was taking place? Which one does that? Of course, it is the verb, okay? The verbs are the ones that tell us what tense we are writing. So then, can you have a think about simple past and simple present? So here is simple past. Now, simple past is also known as past simple. And it describes events which have happened at a specific time, but are now finished. Okay, So, again, I kicked the ball. It's an action that has started and finished in the past. What about simple present? Simple present, or present simple, okay, describes events which happen often. Okay, So, I kicked the ball, for example. Okay, and it's happening in the present. So sort these sentences here. Are they simple past or simple present? I baked cakes. She read a book. We played football. Our teacher helps us. Agnes swims for a club. Jim ate his lunch. Which one's a simple past and which one's a simple present? She read a book. This is the first simple past one. Jim ate his lunch. Another simple past. And the other one? We played football. And then that would mean that the other ones are simple presents. I bake cakes, our teacher helps us, Agnes swims for a club. Notice, again, an action that started or finished in the past. This one is used for something that happens uh, regularly. Okay. Now then, present perfect. So we've looked at present simple and past simple. So what about present perfect? Well, this describes events which start in the past and have continued up to now. Okay. So what do you notice about these present perfect sentences? I have baked a cake. My mum has tidied my room. Our dog has ruined the vegetable garden. We have eaten all the sweets. Look at the verb and look at what comes before the verb. Have baked, has tidied, has ruined, have eaten. So to make present perfect sentences, we are going to use have or has and then the past tense of the verb, okay, in that past tense. Now sort these sentences into simple past or present perfect. So is it simple past, which is an action that started and finished in the past, or is it present perfect, which it began in the past but is still continuing now? I read a great book. Laura has read a book about archaeology. I ate everything. Jamal has eaten his lunch. I have walked a long way. Sue ran a long way. Again, look for those auxiliary verbs, has or have, okay, to give you that clue. So simple past here. I read a great book. The next one, I ate everything. And Sue ran a long way. And that'll leave me with these here. Okay, and notice again, has read has eaten, look, past tense, okay, um, have walked, has, has, have, okay, really key to helping us find those present perfect sentences. 
So past progressive and present progressive, sometimes known as continuous. Okay. Can you remember what past progressive and present progressive tenses are? Well, past progressive, again also known as past continuous, it describes events which happened in the past over a period of time. And they use the past tense auxiliary verb plus the present tense form of the main verb. We'll have a look at that in a little second. And again, present progressive, or present continuous, describes events which are happening right now and haven't finished yet. They use a present tense auxiliary verb plus the present tense of the main verb. So past progressive would be was or were, and then the verb and probably ing. So I was kicking the ball. Whereas present progressive would be am, are, or is, plus then the um, sort of the present tense would be kicking again. So I am kicking the ball would be present progressive. I was kicking the ball would be past progressive. So let's have a, look, a look at those in here. Okay. So remember, present progressive am, are, or is, past progressive was or were. So let's look at these ones here. I am listening carefully to my teacher. Freddie is talking at the back of the room. We were learning about the Roman Empire. During the lesson, Mabel was whispering to me. At break time, we were playing tag. I am reading a book about gladiators. So which one is the first past progressive? Remember, look for was or were. We were learning about the Roman Empire. During the lesson, Mabel was whispering to me. And at break time, we were playing tag. Okay. So remember these past progressive ones um, was happening when another event was also happening as well. Okay. So present progressive would be the other ones. Again, you can see here, you're looking for am, are, or is. I am listening. Freddie is talking. I am reading. Okay. Again, this is an ongoing event that is happening as we are writing or as we are speaking. So can you identify the verbs in these sentences? So we've got a cycle in the first one. The second one, we were asked to read three chapters of our book last night. What's the verb here? It was were asked and read. Mr. Jones has taught our class about ancient Egypt. The verbs here, has taught. It was raining all weekend. Was raining. Notice I've got my were, my has, and my was here also highlighted because they're helping me show what tense it is in. Okay. The main verb though would be asked, taught, and obviously raining. So let's have a little look at these ones here. Can you identify the tense of these four sentences? What is the tense of them? I have eaten all of my ice cream. So again, look, have eaten. Which one is have? It is present perfect. I love ice cream so much. Oh, there's nothing before the verb there. Is it past or is it present? It is simple present. General statements. Okay. I mean, I dropped his ice cream. Again, I've got nothing before the verb there. Okay. So I mean, I dropped his ice cream. So is it past? Or present again look at the ending on the verb ed which must mean simple past rachel is eating her ice cream slowly which tense used is also could use am or are think about when it's happening is it happening in the past is it a was is it a word no so it must be present and of course it is present progressive rachel is eating her ice cream slowly okay then can you identify the sentence, the sentence written in the past progressive? Past progressive. We were asked to design a new garden for school. I was drawing my design last night. My nan is a fantastic gardener, so she gave me some ideas. I hope that my design is chosen. Which one of these is past progressive? Remember, past progressive would be was or were plus the verb with ing. And there it is. I was drawing my design last night. So hopefully that has helped you to recap some of the different types of verbs and their tenses. 
Now, I have got a handy help cheat sheet that I will send to your English groups, okay? And that will help you um, just to have a little revision, have a little read over it and see if you can remember, okay? Um, if you do need to watch, go back and watch this video again, please do, okay? Go back and watch it again. Tense is very important and you being able to identify what tense uh, we are sort of writing and um, talking in will help you with understanding meanings as well. So I will send that uh, little sheet to your group, um, into your English group. Uh, we'll do a little bit more spag this morning, but for your work, you have got to do the little progress test, which sort of recovers what we have been doing this week in English. As always, Year 6, I look forward to speaking to you in our daily sessions. If you need any further help, send me a message and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you very much.